Valence electrons are very important in chemistry, so let's talk about those next. Basically, valence electrons are the electrons on the outermost shell, or orbital only. So we're only talking about those electrons on the very last shell of the atom. Okay, if the atom has all of its electrons on the outer shell, then it is very happy. So that means that it has a full outer shell. This is good because it is more stable, it becomes stable. And that's what every atom wants to do. Atoms want their outermost shells to be full and will lose or gain extra electrons to achieve that. It wants to be stable. Now, if it has less electrons, then depending on the number depends on the reactivity of that atom. For instance, Group 1 is the most reactive because it only has one valent electron. Where group 18 is the least reactive because it has all eight of its electrons on the outermost shell. So a full outer shell is more stable and an outer shell that is not full is reactive but depending where on the periodic table that element is located and depending on how many of those valence electrons depends on its reactivity. Now if that sounds confusing, let's take a look at a couple examples. So now that we know what valence electrons are, let's look at some examples because you still may be kind of confused. Let's look at group one. And in group one on the periodic table, we have the element hydrogen. Hydrogen has one shell, and we know that the first shell of hydrogen can hold up to two electrons. However, it only has one electron. So is the shell full? No, it is not. It has one valence electron, therefore it is very reactive and wants to be full. Let's look at the next element in group one. Lithium. Lithium has two shells. Is the second shell full? No, it only has one valence electron. How many electrons can the outer shell hold? Well, it can hold up to eight, according to our 288 rule. However, it only has one, so it is very reactive. Let's look at sodium. Sodium is also in group one. It has three shells, and we know with our 288 rule that the third shell can hold up to eight electrons. How many valence electrons does sodium have? Well, in the outermost shell, it only has one valence electron. We know they can hold up to eight, so is it reactive or happy? It is very reactive as well. Now what did you just notice? All three of these elements are in group one. And how many valence electrons did each one have? Each atom had one valence electron. So my next question is, do the group numbers help us determine 
valence electrons? Or do we have to draw the Bohr diagram every single time?